absolutely made up with this. It's not the ugly duckling it looks like in the media. It's stunning piece of artwork. What do you think, Rich? It's better in the flesh. Better with somebody on it too. It really is an unusual shape, but it really does. It's the instant you see it, you love it. You actually love it. Dean said it's beautiful in the flesh. He is right. I really like it. Really happy with the, what they've done. I was a bit shocked when I first saw these great big grills, but it's, it's so ergonomic, it's unbelievable. It just fits your body. I love it. Thank you. Well, it's not the ugly beast I thought it was going to be. It's absolutely stunning. And I asked Dean the other day, what does it look like? He said, it's gorgeous. He's bloody right, it is. Absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased it's stunning. The 1980s shoulder pads, as my wife described it, look unbelievable. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. Can't think of any better place to be. The only decision now is automatic or not. And I think the answer to that question is yes. Having just ridden the ASA system on the 1300, I'm super pleased with that as well. So with this pretty looking bike in automatic, I'm a happy boy. More than happy. Look at it, guys. Look at it. In the flesh, it's pretty. In the magazines, on the screen, it's pig ugly. It looks like an adventure bike. A modern adventure bike. It's got all these tie down hooks. Much bigger solid feel to the cubby hole. Just feels perfect. I'm super stoked, super stoked. Something special has arrived. This is the option 719, so it's got all the bullet pack, which is rather nice. I quite like this color green, actually. Really like the color green in matte. Don't like the gold bars. I don't like the gold wheels. Well, there you go. Seen it in the flesh.